U.S. President Joe Biden has thrown his support behind the goal of inoculating 70 percent of the global population against COVID-19 within the next 12 months, promising to double its purchase of vaccine doses to share with the world. Convened virtually on the sidelines of the U.N. General Assembly, Biden's COVID-19 summit called for global cooperation, which South Korea has vowed to take a leading role in. Our Han sung reports. Under increasing pressure to share its load of COVID-19 vaccines, the United States has pledged to buy 500 million more doses to donate to countries in need. This is another half billion doses that will all be shipped by this time next year. At a four-hour virtual COVID-19 summit hosted by the White House on Wednesday, President Joe Biden said the U.S. will become the world's, quote, arsenal of vaccines and encouraged other high-income countries to deliver on their own promises. That's why today we're launching the EU-U.S. vaccine partnership to work more closely together and with our partners and expanding global vaccinations. South Korean President Moon Jae-in, in his pre-recorded speech, promised to expand its support by cooperating with the United Nations and the World Health Organization while taking on a leading role in helping establish an inclusive public health security system around the world. ODA의 꾸준한 확대로 포용적 회복에 함께하고 개발 조상국이 보건 역량을 총체적으로 높일 수 있도록 최선을 다해 돕겠습니다. World governments, aid groups and health organizations have grown more and more vocal about the slow pace of vaccinations and differing levels of access to shots between wealthier and poorer countries. AP reports there are vast disparities in distribution, although over 5.9 billion COVID-19 doses have been administered worldwide over the past year, representing about 43% of the global population. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.